Yes. Landing, rolling. Yeah, fine. Landing. Rolling. Rolling. Tipping. Erica. How you like live TV? <laughs> so happens. Listen, we love you all for coming. We appreciate it very much. And we really love Claire Lynch and her band for coming. And you're about to see a knockout show. I expect you to get happy. Claire Lynch, do it. Thank you. from a bluegrass band in North Alabama years ago. I know uh, we decided a few years into it that we wanted to go out west and maybe do some skiing. So we ran that we ran to the mountains and did a lot of work out there. Ran into some bluegrass pickers out there and they all um, knew how to swing on their instruments, on their bluegrass instruments. So we thought that's really cool and so we've been swinging ever since. And I got a wonderful bunch of guys. <laughs> hey, you know, <laughs> oh well, <laughs> I didn't mean that. <laughs> I'll show you what I really mean. 
Who knows what tomorrow may bring? <laughs> Everybody here from uh, Central Tennessee? Where are we from? Are y'all a bunch of country bumpkins from around here? Or did you come from the big city? You know, War Trace? Uh, just wondered. <laughs> you seem like a dignified bunch, really, to me. So, But I think this is pretty dignified, don't you, for the country? It's mighty fine. All right, well, let's see. Where am I? Oh, we have a new song for you. Uh, do you mind if we play a brand new song? Is that okay with you? Yeah. Thanks. We just finished recording an album. Uh, the name of the CD is What You Gonna Do. And uh, this is a tune that I wrote with uh, Irene Kelly, a friend of mine. It's a song about freedom. It's called Highway. California coastline with this never ending sunshine and Encinitas breeze sounds so good to me. I might head out to the rock. 
hippies Got an old friend there from college Who'd stay up all night And talk about old times Well, I couldn't make him love me And so the story ends Say a bittersweet goodbye And turn these wheels into the wind Highway, you don't know where you're going You're just rolling from sea song for you if it's okay. <coughs> Gospel music's a big part of bluegrass and uh, this is a song I wrote with Donna Ulysses, a song about dealing with this God you can't see. You notice that? <laughs> I know it. He's like invisible or something. <laughs> it's called Face to Face. In the twinkling of an eye, I'll be caught up in the sky. And I will know him right away to hear the trumpet on the fly. Take a Holy Spirit ride when I behold him face to face. Well, it's a mystery how he exists for me when I'm talking.
song here I wrote um, when I was driving into uh, the woods down central Alabama where Granny lived and uh, she was dying and we were uh, going out to her house to gather up her belongings. She was in the hospital. She'd never come home again. So I was just driving into this place and got the eeriest feeling. Uh, the, the people down there in uh, this coal mining country, central Alabama, they, they don't care whether you know you visit their part of the world or not really and uh, they're just content about it and I think that was Granny's attitude too so I wrote this song for her in memory of Clara Phillips it's one called The Woods of Sipsy <laughs> trees are so tall and on scale
you here that wanted to hear the Kennesaw line? Yeah, okay. We'll do this for you. Yeah. This is a song that tells um story of a uh, Confederate foot soldier. Uh, it's actually a true story. And um, it comes straight from the diary of uh, Sammy Watkins. He's from Murray County, Tennessee. Not too far from here, I must say. But anyway, um, in his book called Company H, he told the story of the Battle of the Kennesaw Mountain in uh, Georgia, just north of Mayretta, as they call it. Uh huh. Sherman's march to it, through Atlanta. And uh, this tells of an old Indian legend where if you hear the sound of the whippoorwill on the eve of battle, it means that it's your time to die. So here's the story of the Kennesaw line. I am but a simple man, I got no command of the written word. I can only try and tell you the things I've seen and heard. Listen to the picture forever etched on my mind. The day that hell broke loose just north of May, red on along the Kennesaw line. The day that hell broke loose just north of May, red on. Walter Hood said, I believe them boys down there are up to something. You know it ain't no dang good. Well, the storm broke and swept down on us. It rumbled through the hills. Walter sighed and dropped his 
song that I uh, recorded a long time ago, back in the 1900s, and uh, with a band called the Front Porch String Band, and uh, it's a it's a sort of a country folk standard, and a lot of people have had it as their theme song, and it's turned into one of mine, so this arrangement has followed us over the years, and uh, this is our version of the Wabash Cannonball. Thank you guys so much. Hear the mighty rush of the engine, hear the long 
lonesome hobos from while traveling through the jungle on a Wabash cannonball. Eastern states are dandy, so the people always say. From New York to St. Louis and Chicago, by the way. From the hills of Minnesota, where the rippling waters fall, no changes can be taken on the Wabash Cannonball. Listen to the jingle, the rumble, and the roar. As she rolls along the woodland or the hills and by the shore Hear the mighty rush of the engine, hear the lonesome hobos blow While traveling through the jungle on the Wabash Cannonball
came down to Birmingham one cold December day. As she pulled into the station, you could hear all the people say, there's a gal from Tennessee. We say it down in Birmingham, you know. She's long and she's tall. She came down to Birmingham on the Wabash Cannonball. Now listen to the jingle. Well, the rumble and the roar. As she rose along the woodland or the hills and by the shore. Rush of Angel, hear the lonesome hobos call while traveling through the jungle on the Wabash Cannonball. While traveling through the jungle on the Wabash Cannonball. Thank you, guys. Thanks so much. song. Is it Sunday yet? Oh no, it's only Friday night. <laughs> Y'all gonna need it by Sunday. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> My friend Hershey Reeves from Alabama wrote this song. His friends call it the Critter Song, but it's really called Your Presence is My Favorite Gift. You do know what a critter is, don't you? I, you know, I can ask that in New Jersey, and uh, <laughs> I tell them it's a lot like a varmint, you know. <laughs> it's cuter, actually. <laughs> That's right, we had one for dinner did tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sing. 
You can see that I was whipped. I fell in love and I jumped ship. She was toting me around like a puppy on a string. I had my panties on too tight. Should have known someone would ride when she tried to get me. Stop eating me. 